I'm here. Hi guys, as promised, another eye cutting video. Let's start out with the line cut. That's the first initial cut that I make straight across as straight as I can right through that center line of the lips. I use a brand new X-Acto blade to make sure that it cuts straight across. Sometimes I actually have to exchange it if it's a not a, a sharp blade. As you can see here, I'm just kind of going deeper and deeper and I try to make every single cut count. So I'm really trying to just like focus in on the task. After I go in about maybe two, three millimeters or so, um, I start splitting that cut in half. Just kind of imagine the thickness of your lips, your upper and lower lips. That's really what I try to accomplish. I don't try to make it too thin and not keep it too thick, but here I'm kind of separating the upper and the lower part. And then I start cutting around in a um, circular form on the edges. A round corner is a stronger corner that will not as likely rip as um, just cutting it straight across. I gently turn the blade in the direction that I wanted to cut and here I'm going around the corners and just kind of cutting into it slightly at an angle upwards and just kind of around and I try to do it as um, evenly as possible but I will clean up the edges and everything when I am done with the main cuts. I keep checking and readjusting and checking some more. Um, at this point, I'm actually not pulling on the silicone yet that I will be extracting. I will do that later. I just try to be as um, evenly as possible. And sometimes I get stuck and I just uh, recut. Depending on your skill level and um, desire to experiment, you can really sculpt tongues in or gums in, just however you please. I am not that skilled yet at this. I'm constantly experimenting and trying out stuff. So at this point, I am just cutting everything loose. I'm cutting the lips loose. Um, I'm trying out to see where things are still stuck. See on the bottom right there? I am not ready to pull that out. I'm gonna cut straight across. When you pull on the silicone, it will distort what, um, what you see, because it'll cut out more than what you essentially want. So I'm just gonna go through and um, recut everything nicely to make sure that it's all loosely cut off before I'm actually gonna pull on the inside and let the silicone work for me. I am now ready to take the hemostats and start the slight pulling. When you pull like that and gently cut, it actually cuts in a um, kind of a circular shape. So I kind of let that silicone um, do its thing for me and I just really gently cut. I pull more than what I actually apply pressure to cut and I go in, um, in a, a circle here. I constantly adjust. I actually moved around the back. Um, as you can see, my hands have adjusted to um, what I'm doing to just gently cut away. Um, you don't want to slip and cut into the lip. That really sucks. But I just go around and around and around and kind of just gently pull on it um, till it snaps loose. And that's what we have here. So this is about as much as um, I get out on the first cut. Now we're going to go in again. We're going to actually just examine to see what we've got going on. And um, we are going to cut a little bit um, deeper. I'm putting these um, extenders in um, so I can have a little bit more of a free rein cutting things loose. They're going to help me just to keep everything open. They don't always work, but uh, in this case, they work really well. I want to achieve some hollow um, cheeks and um, I clamp in on the one side and I cut again in a circular motion. You can see that right here. I'm bent a little bit further in to see, but I'll just cut out um, all the silicone that's kind of making the cheeks fall and um, gently pull on it again um, and um, get it all nicely removed as far as possible. Um, I try to be as accurate as possible the first time around, but I always clean up when I am done. You see the jagged edges and stuff. Um, that will eventually be filled in with the silicone and um, all the work that painters do on the kits in order to complete them. And we are also doing the second cheek right here. It goes relatively fast. 
and now I am working on cleaning up the rest. I'm always conscious of where the blade is pointed to. Um, I've um, experienced many cuts on my fingers um, and also I really want to avoid cutting into the lip. I'm really gentle, but you can see how the round cuts have helped that um, the uh, mouth is not splitting open. And uh, you can see that I have achieved with the kind of stickiness um, what I wanted in regards to hollering out uh, the cheeks. And now it is time to just clean it up a little bit.